Hi, my name is Silvana Farache Perry, and I am a public health nurse with York Region Community and Health Services Public Health. And today I will be speaking as part of the One Voice webinar series in series number three, addressing the question, what are we doing to prevent, identify, and manage concussion in school and sports environments? In order to address the focus question listed here, it is my pleasure to represent public health and discuss with you examples of the role public health can play in concussion prevention and management, especially in the school and sports environments. I can share a local perspective and give you examples of what we here in York Region Public Health have been doing in the area of concussion prevention and management and give you some ideas of how public health can collaborate and support the work others such as yourselves are doing in this field. So who am I? As mentioned, I'm a public health nurse working at the Regional Municipality of York, York Region Community and Health Services Public Health Branch. The Regional Municipality of York, also called York Region, is comprised of nine municipalities in Southern Ontario, Canada, with a population of just over one million. I am on the Injury and Substance Misuse Prevention Program, focusing on injury prevention. I also am the chair of the Ontario Concussion Prevention Network, or OCPN, which I will be telling you a little bit more about in my presentation. York Region Community and Health Services is one of 36 public health units across the province of Ontario. The Ontario Public Health Standards and protocols establish the minimum requirements for fundamental public health programs and services, which include assessment and surveillance, health promotion and policy development, disease and injury prevention, and health protection. Each public health unit tailors programs and services to address the unique needs of their local community. The scope of these standards includes a broad range of population-based activities designed to promote the health and population as a whole and with the community partners to reduce health inequities. In regards to what we are currently doing to address concussion in kids, here are some highlights. The Ministry of Education expects all school boards in Ontario to develop and maintain a policy on concussion addressing the following components. Awareness, prevention, identification, management procedures for diagnosed concussion, and training. With the launch of this Concussion Policy Program Memorandum 158, we have co-presented with curriculum consultants from both public and Catholic school boards. Their policies and forms are now on their school board websites. As a result of the PPM launch, we have received a number of requests from both administrators and teachers for concussion education for their students. Our injury prevention program has com just completed a preliminary literature review for concussion in children aged five years and younger, and we will be reviewing and determining next steps to outreach to this group. We have developed our community concussion campaign for 2015, which includes social media messaging on Facebook and Twitter, Recreation Center digital ads, public service announcements, as well as digital ads in other public venues such as malls. We are adapting a pediatric concussion algorithm for physicians from Hamilton and will be including Holland Bloorview as a clinic resource and the Ontario Brain Injury Association as a general resource to be used by York Region physicians. The Ontario Concussion Prevention Network, or OCPN, currently has 31 health units as well as representation from key stakeholders in the area of injury prevention and concussion. It is a vehicle for information sharing and networking and provides an efficient manner to share educational opportunities with members across the province. Accomplishments include concussion policy support for local school boards. OCPN has a representative from the Ministry of Education in attendance and through dialogue with our contact, public health units across the province were recognized as a resource to offer support to their local school boards. Rapid Risk Factor Surveillance System, or RUFUS, is an ongoing telephone survey used to gather surveillance data, 
monitor public opinion on key public health issues, and collect information on emerging issues of importance to public health in Ontario. Rufus Data Collection will provide a snapshot of people's awareness on concussions that can be shared with all health units and assist with program planning. And finally, in collaboration with Dr. Shalina Babul at the BC Injury Research and Prevention Unit and BC Concussion Network, we were able to co-brand the Concussion Awareness Training Toolkit, or CAT, materials for Ontario and can be found on the OIPRC or Ontario Injury Prevention Resource Centre website. For more information on OCPN, including a complete members list, see the link at the bottom of this slide. Awesome. What is working? There was an established relationship between public health and both York Region school boards to, prov to support the implementation of PPM 158. Municipal Parks and Rec Departments have been receptive to partnering in the dissemination of resources, information, policy development, and summer camp staff training. The Ontario Concussion Prevention Network has provided a forum for collaboration among health units, as well as a mechanism to enhance consultation with other stakeholders in a coordinated, streamlined manner. Barriers. What is not working? Currently, we do not have any channel of communication between public health and primary care physicians to share health, and health promotion initiatives. This may be different in other jurisdictions. Provincially, there is minimal higher level coordination between ministries and it is left up to the local level to implement policies and initiatives such as PPM 158. A challenge is data collection, whether it be provincial or local, for monitoring or targeting initiatives to specific audiences or age groups. So what am I hoping to get out of the symposium? I'd like to seek opportunities to leverage the role of public health with other concussion stakeholders in the area of concussion prevention and management, as well as policy development. I'd also like to explore opportunities for public health as a mechanism or means for knowledge exchange between research and the end users, such as parents, teachers, and coaches. To conclude, given concussions has emerged as a significant public health issue, I hope I have provided exposure to the role public health can play and how the Ontario Concussion Prevention Network can be a vehicle to promote better prevention and management of pediatric concussions. Thank you.